You are probably wasting your time with your AutoCAD text. Hi there, I'm the Lazy Architecto helping you save your time in AutoCAD. Today, I'll share with you the techniques I use to work faster with AutoCAD text. We'll start revealing some useful AutoCAD text commands following by some system variables that controls the behavior of your text. Once you implement the techniques that I'm about to share with you, you will definitely speed up your workflow in AutoCAD. Are you ready? Okay, AutoCAD designer, let's do this. So let's start with the first one. Let's say I'm gonna need to note this canopy over here so I'm gonna copy this note and point to, to the canopy over here I'm gonna change this to existing canopy oops why this text is coming lowercase I don't want this Come on AutoCAD, I want all of my text to come uppercase. So this is where the text all caps command or system variable comes handy. So let me show you. Text all caps press enter. Here let's set it to on. So now the next time you type in, no matter if your keyboard or your caps lock is on or off, your text will always come uppercase. Awesome. So the next tip would be, let's say that you don't like the signage over here. So I'm gonna copy to about here. And since this is a block, I'm going to explode it using the explode command. And as you can see, this is a M text, but I want this to be a polyline so I can hatch it whatever I want. So to do this, let's use the following flatten command. As you can see, your text is not an M text anymore and instead a polyline that you can hatch as you wish. Pretty cool, right? So let's go to the next tip and this would be the T case command. So let's say for instance, I have a mix of uppercase and lowercase text in my drawing and I don't want to get inside my text and change it each one individually so for this let's use the T case command and press enter now instead of selecting your text individually let's say all and press enter let's do it one more time and as you can see we have the following options to change the text case, I'm going to say uppercase and click OK. As you can see, all of your text was changed automatically. So let me just move this a little bit and we're done. All right, let's go to the next text tip. And this would be the text align. So let's see over here these notes are not really aligned respect to the other one. So for this, let's use the text align command, which is over here. And let's select all of this text. I'll press enter. And then I'm going to click one of the texts that I like to be the base point for the aligned so I'll choose this one over here and then I'll move my cursor 
or mouse all the way up and then click like so now all I have to do is just fix the leaders using the stretch command and we are pretty much done awesome so here is the next text tip and this would be the text to m text command so let me show you here if you select this text this is a m text which is nice however this one over here is a regular text so to fix this let's use the handy command m text to m text and press enter i'll select this text and press enter as you can see this is now a m text that you can modify as you wish here comes the next text tip the AutoCAD find and replace let's say for instance that these existing storefront doors and so on are not really existing and they are new so i don't want to change each word individually so let me use the find command i'll type existing here and i'll replace it by new make sure is in model space over here or you can say current space and then you can say replace all once you do that it says seven matches or objects found or change and you can click done as you can see the existing word in your text was changed for new and you didn't have to do it manually awesome so let me fix this now what if you want to change only certain text and not everything so what you can do is let me show you I'm gonna undo a couple of times so I can so the same thing let's use the find command and instead of the entire drawing let's the let's use the select objects so I'll click on it and all I want to change is these notes over here so I'm gonna select all of these text as well as this other text and then I'll press enter again new and replace all click OK and done so as you can see it's really easy and simple if you use the right tools for your text now let's go with the next text tip and this would be the background mask so let me show you over here as you can see this text is showing nicely however this other one is not so let me inspect this hatch over here so it looks like somebody cut a hole in this hatch to make the graphics for this text looks nicer however i'm gonna close or heal this hatch because we're we're gonna have problems if we keep it open so let me fix this hatch really quick so we're gonna use the mask text command so i'm gonna select this one and you can do this with multiple text so I'll select that one and this one over here I'll type PR to open the property palette and if we go all the way down here you can see that there is an option for background mask so I'm gonna select that and say use background number one and use the, do the drawing background color so I'll click OK and as you can see your text is showing a background now so let me use the 
draw order command by typing dr and then we can send it to the back oops sorry we needed to send it to the front and let's continue with the next text tip to avoid trying to find our text or select our text let's use a handy command called text to front and press enter let's say text and as you can see all of your text in your drawing are now showing in the front awesome let's go with the next text tip and this would be the mirror text system variable so let's say for instance that i want to align this text over here so let me mirror it using the mirror command and if i do that you can see how your text is not reading correctly so let's undo that and instead so in order to avoid this issue in any of your drawings let's use the text system variable mirror text and press enter now if you set it to zero and press enter again and now if you try to mirror this text or any other text in your drawing using the regular mirror command you can see that your text is not show is now showing nicely awesome so let me align this let's go with the next text tip so for this one let's go to paper space and here i need to add a text for today's date i could just add a regular text using the normal text command however i want to set this text with the date and make it so it always updates automatically and for this we're gonna use the field command so let's type field and press enter let's scroll down and find save date so i'll click that and pick my favorite set for or format for my date and click ok now you can click height to specify a height of your text i'll click here and over here i'll hold shift so i can move this freely and i'll click over here and the beauty of this text is now that it is a smart text or field and whenever you save your drawing or plot or pdf your date will automatically change to the current date so you don't even need to worry about this text anymore and remember that there is an entire playlist for AutoCAD fields and you can watch it right now